Hi friends. Fannie Mae A Shaky Foundation. Denis Kozlovsky took over the helm of Tyco International, LTD. Tyco in 1992. By the end of its 2001 fiscal year, Kozlovsky's Tyco had made over 100 announced acquisitions with total revenues in excess of $30 billion Exhibit 1. Kozlovsky's strategy, called Growth on Growth, fueled Tyco's aggressive approach toward acquisitions and took the company from just over $3 billion of sales in 1992 to $36 billion in 2001. Investors supported Tyco's strategy as evidenced by the tenfold increase in Tyco's stock price over the same period Exhibit 2. Analysts also lauded Tyco, issuing reports with titles like, The Proof is, in the Great Numbers. Bye. But was the proof really there? This case describes the financial state of Fannie Mae prior to its entering government receivership. Provides a history of Fannie Mae and an overview of the factors leading to its failure. Thanks for watching this video.